Let's be young, let's be free, let us laugh and let us sing. So I've just arrived in Santa Airport. It's about quarter past seven in the morning. My flight's in just over an hour and a half's time. Um, it should be quite interesting to start my journey to going to the Netherlands, hopefully to spend about a week uh, exploring around the area. Uh, and my main reason for going to the Netherlands is just to check out King's Day. Uh, it used to be called Queen's Day when they had a queen. And it should be really good fun. By the looks of things, I'm going to go straight to Maastricht. Just checked out some videos on YouTube. Seems like there's, um, it's worth spending a day or so there. Let us love, hold me tight Don't say no good, we only got tonight Yeah You know that I'm a fool Always trying to play it cool No, I won't be here for a long time But damn right I'm gonna live for a good time Yeah, tonight I've just arrived in Eindhoven um, Airport uh, First task is to actually get myself a ticket and get to Maastricht. So to get to Maastricht, by the looks of things, I need to catch a uh, transfer from Eidover Airport to Eidover train station. That was relatively painless. Um, I'm not too sure I got the right ticket. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting to Maastricht, getting a bit peckish, so I'm just debating whether I should grab a quick snack. I saw one of my favourite types of uh, food places. It's like the compartment, coin operated um, food type things. What I'm really looking forward to though is having some proper harming, some good old fish. Gosh, actually I should talk, stop talking about food. It's making me kind of hungry. I've just arrived in Maastricht. Uh, having a bit of a wander around, my initial thoughts are it's a very like chilled out town, a lot less busier than Amsterdam obviously. So one of the things I um, noticed as I was walking by was that there was this bridge and the weirdest thing about this bridge that it rises. Now by itself that's not strange, but the really strange thing about this bridge is the fact that people are still walking and cycling over it whilst it's rising, which is very very strange, quite unique from what I can figure. I've never seen anything like that. I've just had uh, the famous apple pie from one of the oldest uh, windmills in the whole of the Netherlands. I thought it's a very, very tasty apple pie, but I wasn't too sure exactly um, how amazing it should be. It just tasted like apple pie to me. Uh, but then again, saying that, I'm not exactly a connoisseur when it comes to desserts. So I'm walking around into an interesting uh, building. Well, the building's actually a church, and the church, what well, used to be a church anyway, is actually a bookshop. It's pretty grand. You've got all of the pretty much old structure of the whole church. And if you just look up, you'll see all the old frescoes on the ceilings. You get to see the pane glass windows still intact. somehow this is possibly the most awesome bookshop I've ever been to. I think this actually even beats the bookshop in Porto where they actually have that amazing staircase that I believe Harry Potter based its um, design on. Yeah, pretty damn amazing stuff. One of the things I love about going to a bookshop is discovering some really random books such as uh, YouTube for Dummies in Dutch. I've done a fair amount of walking around today. I've seen uh, some churches, walking around the town centre of Maastricht. Now for a quick bite. I'm on the hunt for some lovely, lovely haring. Let's see if I can go find some. So, just my luck, I found the street food uh, market, and one of the market stalls is actually a fish market. Unfortunately, it was just closing as I got there, so I didn't get to get my haring. I had some kibbling as well, but they just sold out of that as well. So I'm going to go for plan B, which is the coin operated uh, food snack place. And I found one of my favourite ones, and it's called Peeble. I found my 
first proper food supermarket. Still on the hunt for hiring. I could be in luck. Maybe. Oh man, I'm so gagging for some hiring right now. Some salted fish goodness. Oh no, not firing. Keep looking. So what I thought was a proper food supermarket thing wasn't actually a proper food supermarket thing. It was uh, just a big superstore with a small food market on the side. So I haven't managed to find my hair harding uh, for now. And uh, instead I found my second favorite thing, which is strew waffles. Strew waffles, basically think pancakes squished with caramel in between the two. They're absolutely gorgeous, really sweet. And I thoroughly recommend it if you ever get a chance. You can buy them at stores, but get, having them fresh is amazing. So I've decided to give up on the hiring for now. I've decided to think, okay then, maybe one more site before I head off home and do some other stuff. Uh, apparently, according to the guidebook, there is the, these Roman remains at the, in the basement of this one particular hotel. So I'm just trying to find it at the moment. Apparently it's free and you can just, you just need to uh, give a quick nod to the receptionist and then they kind of let you through. So let's try and find it. So I found a hotel. Um, I went round in circles because, you know, it's me getting myself lost all the time. Really easy to get to. Once you find a hotel, you just ask the reception, they point you to the right direction. You go downstairs, it's actually a really nice restaurant. And, um, well, it's quite quiet at the moment. It's about half six in the evening uh, on a Sunday. Um, and it kind of looks like this. Almost lost my luggage there with it running away, but never mind.